Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install MariaDB 11.5 on Windows operating systems. The process is same on all Windows 10, 11 and servers. Okay, go to MariaDB site, MariaDB.org, enter. See here, we have the versions 11.5.2. Okay, click on download. Then select the version. See, select the rolling version. See, click on download. Go to downloads. See here, its size is 74.5, 74.4 megabytes. See, download is completed. Click on this MSI file. That is 11.5. See, we are installing MariaDB 11.5. So, click on next. Click on accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next. See, it is going to install these components. And this is the third party component that is ID SQL. Okay. See, it is going to install client programs, backup utilities, development components. We expand it. See, here it is client CPU, client C, client C API. Okay. So, I am going to, I want to install all. Suppose if you don't want to install this one, right click, just click on it and select entire feature will be unavailable. If you select it, see, it is not going to install. So, if you want to install, select it. Okay, click on next and this is the data directory location and here we have to provide the password for the root user. And from the same, want to enable access from remote machines for root user you have to select the checkbox and if you want to use the local settings you have to use the this one okay so i'm not going to change if you want to change the data directory location you have to click on browse and click on browse and select the path i'm okay with all defaults so click on next and see here this is the service name in windows services and port number is double three zero six and buffer full size and page size click on next if you are okay with all these settings suppose if you want to give 11 5 you can give like this okay i am not going to give so click on next if you are okay with all previous settings you, you can click on install see installation has been started See, installation has been completed. Click on finish. Start all programs. Go to MariaDB directory. See here, we have installed MariaDB 11.5. Click on drop down. See here, we have the ID SQL. Click on it. See, here we have to provide the password and provide the port number. Port number that we have given is 3306. Click on open. I don't want see we have successfully connected okay this is the one way to connect to MariaDB and otherwise go to MariaDB directory folder click on command prompt now give mysql hyphen u root hyphen p then provide the password that we have given for the root account. See, we have successfully connected to MariaDB. So, databases. See, we have this default databases comes with the installation of MariaDB. Let us verify the version of the MariaDB. Select version. Or, see here, we have the version of the MariaDB. It is 11.5.2. It enter. See, we have installed 11.5.2 on Windows 11 operating system. Let us create a database. Create database Arctoscopes. See, we have created database successfully. Now, verify databases. Show databases. See, new database after school is there. So, if you want to switch to this database, you have to use the command use after schools. See, now before database was none, now it has been changed to after schools. Let us verify list of tables in this database. Show tables. See, we don't have any tables because it is freshly created database. Let us create a table. This type of, I forgot to give key. Show tables. 
see we have on tab one let's wait data let us insert some data into this table See here, I am giving 101 one table. Let us see the error and resolution. See, duplicate key entry 101. Because here we defined S number column as primary key. If any column is defined with primary key, it won't allow duplicate values. So, we must give the unique values. So, give the 102 or any unique value for the column defined with primary key. Hit enter. Now, verify data. Select star from student. See here we got all the column values, but if you want only particular column values, then give the like statement like S name. If you want only particular S name column, give S name from. Okay, see this is the way. Now we will see how to connect to MariaDB by using DBWare, which is the GUI tool. Okay, see I have installed my DBWare on my machine. If you want to install DBR on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Click on this new database connection, then select the MariaDB, then click on next, then so localhost database give R to schools. Username root, port number 3306, then provide the password. Then click on test connection. See connected successfully. Click on OK. Click on finish. Expand it. Expand databases. See here we have one database. Right click. SQL editor. Open SQL console to run the queries. Select star from student. Select it and execute it. It is typo. Execute it again. See, you got the three rows. If you click on users, expand users. See here, these are the users. If you want to create user, right click, create new user. Provide the name. If you want to grant any of these permissions, just you have to select. Okay. Then you have to click on save. Click on persist. See, new user is created. Okay. Close this window. Okay. The other way to connect to MariaDB is by using MySQL Workbench. Go to mysql.com, Downloads, click on MySQL Community Downloads, select the MySQL Workbench. Then you have to download and you have to install. I have kept the a link to download MySQL Workbench on Windows operating systems. Okay. The last step that I am going to show you how to stop, start and restart MariaDB on Windows operating systems. Go to services. MSC. Press M. See here we have the MariaDB service. Right click, click on restart. If you want to restart, if you want to stop, click on stop. If you, okay, or simply select the service and you can use these links like stop, start, stop, and restart. Also, here we have the buttons stop or restart the services. Okay, so in this video, we have seen how to download, install, and configure my MariaDB 11.5 on Windows operating systems. For more MariaDB or MySQL tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.